Jack Miller. He's John Jacobs, and she's Lissy yeah. Almeida. She's waiting to move. This is the latest episode of the Mainly Wrestling Show. Uh, Vinny, just insert the date here whenever you decide to uh, sort us out. Cheers, pal. Uh, it's end of May at the time we're recording, but we're going to look forward to June of 2003, the 20th anniversary of JJ. Now, if I would normally say what happened, you'd give me a bollocking for spoilers, which I did. Sting versus Ric Flair, when I said it was a 45-minute time limit draw. Oh, thanks for spoiling that one, pal. So I won't say what happens on the main event, but... Uh, We'll see at the it's end. Of iconic. Icon- iconic. 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 I remember watching this episode. <laughs> I I, um, I was about 15, 16. I just started doing better. And do you know what, as well? Like, there's a lot going on in this. You're going to see Kurt Angle. You're going to see John Cena. You're going to see Undertaker. You're going to see Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon. I mean, it is a stacked SmackDown for an hour and a half of, uh, of wrestling. Stacked. You know what I'm saying out there. The three of you. Uh, Lissy, yes, 2003, sir. what do you remember of this era? How old were you at the time? 14? I was about five. Um, so, <laughs> no, this was a good time. This was a good era of SmackDown. Um, what I remember about early 2000s SmackDown, Stephanie was the general manager for the most part. Um, yes, yeah, so she was the authority, which, you know, we love stuff around here. So. I'm all grown up now. <laughs> Wow. Good wow. Don't quit your day job. Um, <laughs> they want to suck me, it's fine. But I, what I remember the most about SmackDown at this time was that it was on the UPN, and we didn't have cable at the time for probably many reasons, but none that Peter, I was what, privy Peter, to. what are you doing, man? So you show. So SmackDown was like my Thursday night thing where like I would – get home from soccer practice, do my homework really fast, eat something, and make sure I watched it because I didn't watch Raw on Monday, which is great. JJ, what were you doing in 2003? You um, broke. You know, like going to school and stuff. Yeah. 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 Well, that's John Jacobs. Uh, he's back and better than ever, as Eric Bischoff once said. We're going to jump right to it. JJ, if you're watching on the WWE Network, where should you go to? You should go to watch.wwe.com. Fuck that. Go in the search bar, type in SmackDown June 12th, 2003. That's the way. <laughs> Giving you a bloody URL. Find a it in like the A bloody URL. Figure Find it, it out. June 12th, 2003. My God, it's still going. Lissy, if you're on the cock, where do you go? Peacock, SmackDown, Season 5, Episode 24, June 12th, 2003. This June like, 12, 2003. This sounds like she's extra on Star Trek there. Right, and we'll click play in three, two, one. Oh, do you see Matt Hardy? You love him. I mean, Brain Matt Hardy was actually... Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy was like 20. late 20s here, right? That's acceptable. 20 yeah. years ago, though, and they're both still going. Yeah. Also, 20 years ago, in Dominic is... <laughs> He's a little baby. Yeah, that is so funny. I mean, the Mysterio family, like I, I love. I have a love hate in relationship with the amount of exposure that the Mysterio family has gotten, uh, exploitation too that they've gotten because it's like some stuff is just like way too personal. But I think you guys know it's not. It's not about the Mysterios. It's more just like my perspective on certain stuff in wrestling just should be off limits to me, but. Whatever. I mean, I feel like they've just like always been involved in race storylines in one way or another. Do you know what? Kind of along those lines, he... one of the first things that I ever picked up on as being like fucking gross in wrestling was when they had Vicky Guerrero and it was like, cool, oh, they gave her a job. That. They gave her a job after her husband died and it's like, yeah, yeah so we're just going to have you, you know, like being a cougar, making out with 20-something, 30-something guys who are massively a junior and it's like, is this the way that you have to treat someone who is like, you know, a widow of a, of a legend of your business? Um, anyway. They could have just, I mean, they could have done a million mm-hmm. things with her, right? Like you want her to manage, let her manage. If you want her, like, and she was great as like an on-screen authority when she was a general manager, you know, she had like the excuse me thing was like very over, like people love to hate her. 
So it's like, she had something, she had some talent that they could have, you know, really capitalized on, but the, with a little bit of respect, right? Yeah, exactly. Like those, those storylines were just, I'm good. Uh, It's Dominic. (laughs) It's so funny seeing baby Dom. That's fine. There he is. He's really just so cute. Uh, What a guy. And he turned into Papi. And what's the dirt girl's name? Aaliyah? Aaliyah, yeah. yeah. Aaliyah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, we know what you did, you little bastard. We know what you became. What? <laughs> you got... He's... See, I saw... Shout out to at WWE on, on this day on Twitter. He posted that this um, SmackDown intro mm. debuted around... This time, I want to say last week, so middle of May 20, 2003, I have literally no recollection of it. Me Genuinely never heard of it. What? No, I don't, I don't recognise this this, um, this theme song. I don't recognise it at all. Like, not even slightly familiar with it. No recollection at all. I remember but the Marilyn Manson one, man, so. one um, Beautiful People, which I think oh, was on SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain, because I had the PlayStation game, and that was... That was a banger. That was good. Banger. But then... You think... No. Oh, look that, at all those signs. Fucking hell. We say this every time we see... I know. The attitude just... era just after. I guess this now falls into the... Um... Ruthless aggression. Yes, that's what I was going to say. When did Big Show become bald? Uh, when he shaved his head, Jack. Thank you for your question. Oh. Oh, yeah. He started jumping out of the sky. What a guy. So, do you guys like this set, like the stage set for the, this the version smack, of SmackDown? The SmackDown, Smackdown fist. Yeah. Iconic. Well, there's a lot of iconic stuff from JJ this week. I feel like they need to run this back once in a while just so we can I, see I it. Appreciate Ray Mysterio spelled wrong. Great stuff. <laughs> spelled his first name and his surname wrong. They don't care. America. America. <laughs> By the way, have you seen this on the synopsis? M- Mr. America versus Mr. Oh, Man yeah. in, a, in an arm, re- arm wrestling contest. Wow. Well, and that's that's one of the things that I, I meant to say. Sorry. I'm, I think I'm, I'm just, I have a lot of things in my head. Mr. America. And he, they had an episode where he had to take a lie detector test to prove that he's not Hulk Hogan. I got great memes from that. So when Vince McMahon says, I am not a pervert. Eh. Wrong. Wait, isn't, doesn't Zach Gowan get involved? Uh, yeah, Mr. Zach McGa- so, uh So this month, uh, 20 year an- anniversary, of, uh, 21 year anniversary of Judgment. No, yeah, Judgment Day 2003. And it was uh, Mr. America versus... I want to say Vin. No, it was Hulk Hogan against. Anyway, yeah, Mister America was. There you go. It was Hulk Hogan versus Roddy Piper on Judgment Day, two thousand three. Okay. And Chuck Palumbo. Is it Chuck Palumbo or Sean O'Hare? Sean O'Hare, right? He was in Piper. They tried to make him fire Piper, and Zach Gowan was Hogan's second. Because Brock feels, by the way, they fill up this opener like it's a fucking pay per view match. Yeah, yeah. But, that, but that's what you're supposed to do, right? Promote your matches. Yeah, that doesn't I, happen. I, 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 them. <laughs> These days on WWE, it's like whatever, building it up to 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 a big pay per view match, right? I mean, I feel like on AEW, you get. You get build up for some week to week matches. Some are just banger matches, whatever. But yeah. JJ, will you be watching Double or Nothing on? Is it Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. I don't know. There's Sunday, I think. Sunday. Okay. I have no. I genuinely have no idea. I feel quite embarrassed. Um, I won't be watching live, no, because I'm not going to sit here until half past six in the morning to watch it. But I, I will be watching as soon as I can the next Movie. day. More importantly, who have you backed? Oh, I don't know. Some Fab Zaka. I've got. I put money on Wardlow because Wardlow apparently isn't the favourite. You, you literally, with. you literally beat me by about three seconds. I was fucking yeah. raging. Yeah, I was really surprised by that. But I, how did Greg? Yeah, Greg made him. He's now four to six. So, so betting terms, let's say Wardlow was 
plus the outsider two fifty with the odds makers in Vegas. He's now minus one fifty. Oh, I don't know how it works. Then ask I don't me. Know, I don't know how it works with the. I don't know no US odds. But sorry, anyway. guys. Not a gambler. Anyway, no. let's say Wardlow versus Christian Cage in a ladder match at uh, double or nothing. Who wins? Wardlow. That's what I thought. That's what, that's what we both thought. Oh, well, I've got yeah. 80, I've got 80 at five to four. And I've got Orange Cassidy to same well, as you. He has I've the belt, Orange right? Yeah, he's got the belt. And I've got Orange Cassidy to win the Battle Royal, but just because I don't think after, what is it, 22 defences now? 21 defences? 23. Okay. I don't think they take it off him in a battle royal. Well, that was my logic, right? Really? So I've got I got forty seven to four, and I went in again today. I think the it, other thing the is the person who um, beats Orange Cassidy is is made. The other thing is, all of the big names that are in there have their own things going on based on who we know is in there so far. So you've got like Keith Lee and Swerve; they'll probably take each other out. You've got Jay White and Ricky Stark; they'll probably take each other out. And shout then the out, shout out Jay White for saving me about 200 quid this week. Love you, brother. You can tell us story in a second. And then the rest of it is all like jobbers and tag teams, right? Yes. You've got like Butcher and the Blade and you've got, um, you know, Johnny Hungy and, and, and the team. Um, <laughs> it's, I, it, oh, I, I, can't, raised, I can't see... He's done. He stood his knee. Speak with me. I can't see anyone on the graphic that they put up who who I would have as a winner. If you had Miro or Andrade on there, who we know are going to be a star of collision, I could see it maybe. But I think if they're going to do that, they'll do it in a singles match and build one of those up, give them some momentum um, starting on this new show. Anyway, tell your Jay White story. So, listen, we, we offer certain betting odds, right? And I was asked to fill in and do a... Like, what will happen... This week on Dynamite. What will happen first? What will happen first? And I, um, oh, great, great near fall. Um, you, and I, put, you, I, put something, I was on a cross trainer in the gym and I was like, this will just help me pass the time. And it wasn't until the bets came flying and I realised I fucked up pretty badly here. I think I did. <laughs> I'm fucked, Brett. I'm fucked. <laughs> the options were Judas to play live in the arena. Oh, think, God. Was that a 5 to 2 favourite? Yeah, Rene, Renee's second interview. Uh, Wheeler Yuda to be pinned. So okay. in fairness, all three happened. Like it's just a question of what happens first, right? Yeah. I think yeah. Ty Valkyrie to win. Uh, the women's match always goes on in the like pretty late because TK hits yeah. women's wrestling. Yeah, uh, it's usually the right right in the the dead spot. Will Osprey to be sure, and I don't think he was. And the thing that saves me. And Charles is being 140 quid. Was Rick, uh, Jay White to attack Ricky Starts backstage? And I'm watching mm-hmm. Dynamite this morning, and they go to a pre they go to a pre It's Ricky Starks. Like, Juice Robinson comes in. Oh, why can't that be Jay? Here comes Jay White. And I'm there, I'm there feeding his breakfast this morning. Because <laughs> I mean, Greg. I think Greg had like, oh, one, two, three, stole it. Twenty on Renee at fives. 40 Judas, I think, 5-2. to two. He then also 20 on uh, Judas at fives. He's got me absolutely banged to rights. Well, I, I mean... Cheers, Greg. Appreciate it. The thing is, how do you wake up and not know this? Like, you have money bet? I would. That would be the first thing I did when I checked, when I woke up yeah, in the morning. Yeah, but you bet, you, bet, you, you, bet on, you bet on lots of different things throughout the show. So you don't just want to go on and read the spoilers so you know what you've won and lost. You kind yeah. of watch it and then you have that sweat as you're watching it, right? Prop bets. Yeah. Prop bets, yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. I mean, I was quite pleased with myself because most things happened. It's just a question of which order. Yeah. Well, Jack, you'll be happy that Ray just beat I'm Matt watching. Hardy. Yeah, it was a nice pin. This is this was peak Vince, wasn't it? Oh, Vince. Oh, something. my gosh. Vince is so cringe. <laughs> This was when Vince went super um, pervert in 03. Like, yeah, he was really, he was very turned up. He he, he had a thing wow. with Sable this time, right? Didn't he? Is this is this around what you were just talking about? Yeah, Piper yeah. lost to um, Mr. America at the last pay per view. Who who is this guy? Who? Roddy next Piper. To, next to Roddy Piper. Oh, Sean O'Hare. Uh, the okay, Sean O'Hare fine. was one part of the 
natural. Th- I think they call the natural th- uh, thrillers. In, WC- in WCW in two thousand, it was Chuck Palumbo and Sean O'Hare. Natural but born big- thrillers is a better name. Thank you. I don't um, know if that was what it was. <laughs> I think you're right. Uh, they're both like six three, six four, big jacked of young kids. Uh, Couldn't really work, but Mama Sita. Big men. Um, they tried to give him the Piper rub. Wait, is Eddie Guerrero with Tajiri? What? He certainly is. He's Tajiri. In the, I love Tajiri, by the way. Like, by the way, I don't know what a, a I don't know what a low rider is, but I know that's it. <laughs> Good enough. Yeah, I know you're, Eddie Guerrero. I've heard him on commentary. Is it what Cholo's drive around? Oh God. Cholo. <laughs> Oh my God. Is um why are the why are, you, are there sombreros out on the uh? Because well, Eddie's Mexican, so. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. See what we Bit did the there. Old, uh, you got the key there. Stereotypes. Well. Oh yeah. You really you go back Mexican and you realize cowboy hats. <laughs> That I mean, funny. I, that popped me, you know. Me. I did used to love the stuff with Tajiri and Regal back in the day. Oh, oh they were hilarious. I miss oh, him. Tajiri is yeah. just so, so underrated because, like, he couldn't really speak much English, but still managed to get him to He could. He could speak perfect he, English. He just came vaped everyone. Yeah. But, Genius. like, just got himself over without saying a word, basically. Yeah. Eddie's in phenomenal shape here. Piper at this stage is so weird. He's about 47. No. 20 years ago, Piper was the fucking man in uh, Jim Crockett Promotions. When and obviously feuded with Hogan in 84, 85. What's he doing here at this stage of his career? So making a, making a paycheck. It's true, but he just... The he was 49. Crowd, he was 49 here. 49, yeah. The crowds didn't care. It was weird, just, right? Because, like, for me, when I would watch this, I had no idea who he was, but I knew it was a big deal because of the way... Because they told me it was a big deal. Yeah. But right. that was it. Like, I... It was your understanding. I didn't, I didn't know why, right. I think it was as well, Piper was very much one of those that uh, he's not one for like the scripted promo era. Mm. So he's really cool. struggling. When when he um, allegedly, the, the most famous Piper's pit of all time is when he smacks Jimmy Snooker in the face with a coconut, which was apparently complete off the cuff. Oh, I've got to get heat, got to get heat. Like, I was actually, I actually posted a clip of. Uh, Flair inducting Piper into the Hall of Fame in 05. And he said, Brody Piper just wanted to get as much heat as possible from the crowd. Like, he was there with Flair in Puerto Rico in 82. And he ended up, like, inciting a riot after, like, Flair steals a win against Carlos Colon. Carly Not a dad. riot. And uh, Piper starts fucking going in the crowd and they have to get, you know, takes about a half an hour to leave the building and whatever. He was always of that heat mentality. So when you go into the PG era, of, uh, they call it that ruthless aggression, right? It's a different era this time. It's just a different man. Yeah, it's a different time. It's different content. Like you can't do certain stuff. And like, just like even how you're talking about like the, the coconut with Jimmy Snuka type of angle, like there's racism there. Of course there is, yeah. <laughs> a lot of it, right? Called, called him an island. Don't forget, boy. don't forget, yeah. the food just got you know, brought into AEW. So, you know, it's not like do something racist and you won't be seen on TV. So. Who was just brought in to where? Sabu. Did you not see? Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear you. Yes. Yeah, I know. I'm uh, like, who? I don't know you went, whether you went boo or booze. Sabu. Sabu. Yeah, I did see that. I can't hear the word Sabu without hearing Taz screaming from 97. Sabu. <laughs> oh, this, um, the, that was an underwhelming angle. Yeah, 
It's funny because a long running um a long running joke amongst us lot is how is Taz not black, right? We always say like how how is this not a black man? And Sabu's getting dragged for calling him the N word in a in a tweet I think from ages ago. Which wow. you know he he's not. <laughs> he's a New Yorker. We're saved by Sable and Stephanie right now. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Ass, I'm gonna track this. Oh God! Stephanie, she just known. Because at the time, right, Vince is seeing Sable. I am bringing back the U.S. Title mm-hmm. to SmackDown, and thank you for. This is not Stephanie's best hair. I'm just gonna say that. What's with? It's just like a semi perm. I don't get it. It's, is, is she crimped? It's like crimped. crimped? It's like crimped. crimped. Yeah. yeah. It's not. It's not her best look. I'm. I'm. I'm not happy to see this. I'm not gonna lie. Why do you always have problems with tracking? Every time. I don't know. I don't know. She doesn't need an assistant. How old is Sable look here, by the way? Compared to like Sable, 98. Sable was 36 here. Ish. 35 or 36. Brock like oh. those older ladies. Yes, well, she's sir. 10 years older than him. But I mean, think about like, I don't even know what they're saying right now. But think about like, you're a teenager and you see Sable and you're like, oh, she's like the hottest woman I've ever seen. And Brock was in like when at like that peak of her her fame from like 96 to 98, like Brock was like a very young man, right? He was like his late teens, maybe 20 years old. And then fast forward, you're a wrestler, you're in the same company with her, start hooking up from with her. You take her from her husband. <laughs> Have you heard the story again that Matt Mayro found voicemails? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And I was like, and who is it, Brock Lesnar? Well, Sorry. I'm gonna Sorry have a hard that. time with that one. <laughs> like, come on! If you find out that your wife is cheating on you with Brock Lesnar, you're just like, take her. I'm, I there's nothing I can do, buddy. He said something along the lines of, "I, I might as well just took them in at night." Because <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> and to be fair, Mark Mero has made a lot of money. Is he's like a motivational speaker? And he he mm-hmm. comes across as a really nice guy. Yeah, he's, he's doing just, just fine. He's doing all right, but it's like one of the things where, well, okay. <laughs> what, what can you do? Can you do? What are you going to go fight him? <laughs> Come on. Good luck, good luck with that. But yeah, Sable around this era, it's so weird. So she sued the company for sexual harassment, right? Discrimination, settled out of court for a lot of money. A lot of she, money. Because she was asked to do stuff with Vince and she didn't want to do a lesbian angle. Blah, blah, blah. So she was like going ninety nine, and then she came back in two thousand three, and the exact the the things that she sued them for four years earlier. Like she did the thing with Tori Wilson, right, where they were kissed and they did the bikini contest. Oh yeah, with yeah, it was very uncomfortable. Well, not unless you're a fifteen year old boy, but you know. no, no, no. It was just like it was like very cringe. There was a lot of cringe moments because it was just like very like forced. But yeah, if you're that. If you're a young man and you're in, you know, your hormones raging, you're like, oh my god, this is so hot. Tori Wilson was always why, why does a, a lolly at this time, by the way, because why always. does A Train shave his arms but not shave his back oh. or his chest? Oh, I know you call you say I'm in like an encyclopedia. I don't know that type of shit. I don't know. It's just it's a rhetorical question, to be honest with you. Um, it's a very interesting Tori observation. <laughs> And look at Billy still wrestling today. Look at Billy has not aged a day. He looks bad. I think he looks better now. I actually that was one of my first ever action figures from that from like the the new range from like ninety eight ninety nine. And again, my parents were really weird. I bought a wrestling figure and it's got loads of juicy lips right on his ass and it says Mister Ass on his cheeks. Yeah. Which it was never explained by like JR and the King. Why is he called Mr. Ass? Oh, by God, okay. uh, that's a good he hey. He's a badass with a good ass. And then, hey, way, wait, way it? better than what's her face. Was it? Wow, well, Tori Wilson, a bit chilly. Um, was this just Who's after this just after the Billy and Chuck stuff? Anna J. What? Lissy said much better than what's her face, the badass with a good ass. I said, "Who's are you talking about, Anna J? I've got a fat ass and a bad attitude. Oh my so, god, Lizzie, so, we have a story. 
Okay, so cringe. Kind of so our friend Greg. Oh, Greg. Does a lot of the wrestling betting. He is obsessed, and I mean obsessed with Anna J. Sounds unhealthy. Uh, he was at the hotel yesterday at the MGM. He's in Vegas. He's in Vegas. He's in Vegas for double or nothing, and he was there yesterday in the he's hotel. He's seen her. Just, and he was meeting and greeting. He's wearing a T-shirt that I got for him via my store of Isaiah Cassidy. So I said, "Asai Cassidy comes with, oh my god, man! Really appreciate the support. Like he didn't buy it from awshop.com, bought it from No Context Slide. Never mind. Um, he's there having a chat with him for about two minutes. He gets a selfie with him. He's there for an hour. He misses his favorite wrestler, Anna J. He zooms in on the corner of the selfie with Asai Cassidy, and Anna J is in the corner, and as he walks past." Whilst he's having the chat with a side, so he basically almost took a picture with Anna J. That's what that's how I mean, we're rationalizing this. Imagine what could have happened if he spoke to Anna C. Oh, he oh. has he has blamed Endless me. possibilities. He has blamed me. You on ruining his chance. You're not even there. Tori Wilson knew how to get into a ring, by God. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's a bit spicy. Oh, there's a lot happening. Oh, my turn. <laughs> What's going on right now? There's just a lot happening right now. Can I tell you something? The early to the 2000s... Would never, ha- would the, never happen today. No, not even that. The fucking fashion was so bad, like... That is such a hot jumpsuit. Like, why do you have that belt it's on? It's the belt. The, that belt, it's right, would hang so on the bad. hips. Yeah. Like, why do we do? We were living in hell. Oh my god. People would wear right the um, like the short leather, uh, short the short denim skirts, right, and then the big fuck off belts what on top of it. What are the pants we got? Dear Kids Lord. Rock. What a beast! Wow, what a he guy. So young, honestly. He was. I know, I know. Oh my God, Tori Wilson. But he just looks like he's he's come from a college football game, right? Right. JJ gives a time check. The time is twenty four thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. Oh, the smack of the night. What do we think it's going to be? It's got to be Tori Wilson's ass, surely. Oh, and that but was how, literally. How... The... Last How Thursday. are we doing the smack of the night? We've it's not what is we're not even last week. Oh, it's last week. Oh, okay. Wait okay, okay. a minute. Who the hell is that guy who super kicked Undertaker? Um, oh, I think it FBI, was from right? the FBI. Is that Johnny who's that? Is that Chuck Palumbo? And there was Johnny the Bull and uh, I forget. And Nun- Nunzio. Yeah. Nunzio. Yeah. Little guy. Yeah, he's so cute. Uh, oh my god, midlife crisis taker loading. Blue life smart taker. <laughs> oh my god, I have such a hard time watching him like this. Like it just doesn't sit well. White supremacist taker. Can we say that he's on still those things. <laughs> <laughs> I really just I, I I just settled on midlife crisis taker because that's really how I this is where I think he was. In, in life. I feel like this taker is like the closest version to real to life like Callaway, right? Yeah. Like I love the police, I love my bikes, and I love white people. Uh, it's the right. It's the idea of um, a forty-year-old white man, redhead oh. man. I hate you. I hate you. Okay. I'm saying that as all those things myself. Can you imagine me wearing a bandana around my head? How no. fucking stupid. Because do you know why? Because God love me, you shouldn't do it. Ooh, Windows XP. That'll be good when it comes out. I tell you what, Madonna made a great advert for that. She made a fortune. Media Center Edition. Okay. When a date with a diva with Maxim. Oh my God. <laughs> We didn't know we didn't know what we had, guys. Like we really didn't. We didn't value this enough at what the a, time. What an era! Wow. Ooh, be- what, what would the really? betting odds be for this? Take a V, Johnny Stamboli. Just do very. There's a lot of um. There's a lot of very strong racial stereotypes so far, right? Well, absolutely, so, absolutely. Welcome to wrestling, Jack. 
What's the matter? <laughs> what, what the matter with you, huh? Oh, you're Russian. <laughs> you're a bad guy. <laughs> I tell you what, if 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 this was, if we were finding betting odds, I'd be saying Rafa. I want to buy. Can I have the the time lens? I want to back the unders here. Under oh, seven, right. or, under seven mm. minutes, easy. Oh my god! Uh, the line would be like two and a half. No, I think he'd go about four, four and a half, five. Okay. Because he has to. So Taker has all this offense, right? He's not going to squash him completely. He'll have one hiccup. Other guy gets some offense in, right? This, right? There you go. And there'll be a comeback spot on Fish Bosh Bash. Last ride wins. I think about 440. 4.45 is my guess. I, I, yeah. don't, I don't have any memory of the Undertaker feuding with the FBI at all. Like, do you know, even like the times when you weren't even in the business, in the business, in the following wrestling, you'd go back and watch bits and pieces. I've never watched this era. Well, we've all got like blank zones, I think. Like where you just kind of switched off of wrestling for six months, a year, whatever, but yeah. they always come crawling back. Who the hell is bought this? Yes, we do. There it is. There's the spot you're talking about, Jack. What's that? Heat spot. No. Oh. We've, we've, the, the transition. Chuck Palumbo, Chuck Palumbo, sorry, was a big man. You forget how, like, just. Tall and big he was. Jeez. Yeah, Chuck Palumbo and Sean. I think you're right. Natural born thrillers. Natural born thrillers. They were uh, they were a big deal in WCW in 2000. I feel like they could have been something, but if you recall, and I know you do, I do. When the invasion happened, like <laughs> just all the WCW guys just got like buried. You know, all of them. I, I, all, all of them. them. All of them. I mean, the the most successful guys that came from WCW, thinking back on that time, especially who came initially, because remember the Halls and the Nashes and Sting and and everybody like We're the real top like guys. We're talking like DDP, Booker T, like those guys are the ones yeah. that came straight away. You, Booker T JJ, had an okay run. JJ, yeah. you you say that right? You say he was oh, nice Baron Buster. You say he was successful, right? He didn't win a match. No, I wasn't all. saying DDP. I wasn't saying DDP was successful. No, no, I was saying sorry. those were the top guys that came at the start. Came over, yeah. I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. They, it was you as a talent, and Booker kind of alluded to this, Rafinathly, right? Um, they relied on your own ability, and Jay has alluded to this before. Being able to get yourself over in defeat, which is what is a sign of a true worker, which right. is what Mick Foley did, right? If you look feuds with Triple H or Randy Orton or The Rock yeah. or, he, or The Undertaker in '96, He lost most matches, but he was that good he got over. So Booker T lost and he kind of got buried by The Rock in 2001. Right? Yeah. That famous scene. The punk ass sucker and the <laughs> silver spoon mother. And then he got beat. He, he had his as I say, he had his ass whooped by Austin in the grocery store. and mm-hmm. That was George, great. Whatever. But, but he got beat every week. But he was still quite good, and he persevered. There you go, four and a half minutes in. Apart he was from, entertaining, right? So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Apart from Booker, I can't remember anyone in that invasion angle from WCW who was remote. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like that from the invasion guys, like it's like Booker T is really the crown jewel. How, how ginger is Take Ray, by the way. Jesus. Yeah, well, you know he you know he dyes his hair. Like we're so used to what? seeing him. Oh, Say what? <laughs> We're so used to seeing him in a darker hair color. Oh, you poor know. Nuncio. Oh, you know, God. that's the libido that. genius. We also know a former ginger called George. He's a blonde boy now. He's ginger in the light. He's he, <laughs> in, the, in the light, right? He looks so much like my baby photos. That poor Does child. He? Oh my god! <laughs> my poor child. <laughs> oh. When I was when that video of him with um, Seb right in the soft play last week, he looks because he's wearing a stripey. I got a thoughts thoughts of me as a baby in a like a black and white striped shirt, and it's it's unca- it's uncanny. <laughs> it's and you guys have the same amount of hair now. It's great. I wish I had the amount of hair he does now. He's absolutely schooled me. 
JJ, guess the time for that match. Um, 428. 342. Oh, wow. I told you, unders every time. God, Rafa hates me. You got, stung by the, you got stung by the unders this week, didn't you? I know, really bad. Um, I was tempted to go over Orange Cassidy and I ended up going middle. I think Ty Valkyrie was 7.32 and I backed under 7. Yeah. It's all right. Oh, well. We're not playing big money. Yeah. It's all right when, when Orange Cassidy wins the Battle Royal on sun, uh, whatever day. Is it really not Sunday? Guy. Yeah, I... They're like, not going to go up against WWE on the same day. Look well, but this. WWE's in like... It's in, in the daytime, early, I know. Right? Yeah, but still. Yeah. How big are Hogan's arms, man? Good. That's not Hogan, That's... mate. That's Mr. America. Mr. America with the 24-inch pythons. I don't really know what's going on with this cane. This is kind of cringe because we know Zach is missing a leg. So how's he standing? <laughs> Did you see Hogan's interview in the week? Uh, and he refused to... like uh, Very apologize. AEW. He refused oh, right. to ap- apologize for his racist comments in the past. He just says it, it was a misunderstanding. Okay. Did you also see him say that do we, do we track him this? and Austin can go at WrestleMania 40? Brother, I got one more run left in me. Just I'm all grown up now. You want to track it so bad. <laughs> like, we'll get Susan, it's fine. I don't, I'm, I'm not liking Steph's look here, by the way. This isn't a strong. The leather skirt with the serious I jacket at the top. It's a bit, mm, it's half and half. It's too yeah. businessy. She's see, gone, so, it's it's smart casual done badly. Yeah. So see, this is my struggle. Her legs look great though. This is my struggle with like wearing a skirt in the ring. Like, do you see like how well Jimmy had to like hold up the the rope for her so that you don't sell your poom poom? Like, I, I think I think that's my whoa whoa, whoa yeah. JJ. Before one sec, you don't what? So you don't sell, sell your, your poom poom. Sell your poom poom. Are you okay? I've never okay. heard that phrase before in my life. <laughs> Well, you John, you know what I'm breath. talking about, right? I think I do. Thank you. Thank Let's you. See, I will say this. Whatever you wore, was it two weeks ago? When you Which were dancing outfit? with Charlie. Oh. Outfit, 10 out of 10. Oh, great. I'm glad it got your seal of approval. I hated that outfit. <laughs> it was Why? So oh, wow, Sable's dressed like... Oh, God. She's even got the pearl necklace, because you know what that means, brother. <laughs> This is so cringe. This is so, Vince has written this show, and it's so bad. Obviously, <sighs> she the only looks, woman she looks the so only cheap. Woman on the show who is not purely there to be a sex object is his daughter, and she's kind of there. Half. Well, I think also the way that they've, I think because you know Steph doesn't usually look like this, so no, I no. think that the way that they've pitted her against Sable, like they have to make her look more homely looking. Yeah, um, yeah she'd have to look a bit more a bit more business like. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nah. She dissed her. Uh, let's see, volume on this. Can we uh, Steph's shoes? What's going on here? Look at again. Of their time. The, those are like the sixth grade teacher specials. Yes. <laughs> she looks like a teacher. She looks like a teacher. She does. She does. So I think I think it was strategic because, like, look at how Sable's come oh, out here dressed. Why is that coming out to Hulk Hogan's music? Because Zach Gowan saved him last month after he beat Roddy Piper at the pay per view. But he Zach has in... his own music, right? It's just a lot, guys. Mm. It's just a lot happening. I do love this music. It's an old timer. It is. Um, it is um, top tier. Like if you listen, this is a banger in the gym. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I won my first ever. Everybody. (laughs) One of my first VHS (laughs) UK Rampage ninety one, and the main event was Hogan versus Slaughter, and. I remember singing along to him. I'm going, why are you singing I'm a real American? Because, brother, because you know why. <laughs> like, what, what are you, you're not American. <laughs> Shut up. It's really such a banger, though. Ooh. My 
time. So track no it. No chance. Oh, that must be me and potential from this because because Vince is going to strut. Yeah, oh, Vin Vince is going to strut out looking like that. He's so jacked. How much juice is he on about here? It's really the tan for me. He's fucking fifty six here, man. He's fifty six. Look! 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 It's so funny. I can't take him seriously. Anyway, let's not um, forget that he is uh, a sex a offender, sex allegedly. So, <laughs> okay, he's not, he's not a sex Always offender. Always important officially, to remember that he has set a lawsuit with multiple staff members who he's had sexual relations with. Allegedly, no, allegedly and, it was. And pred it predatory, was it, they are, I think it's around predatory behavior. I think that's where it's on. It's public, publicly traded company who, and he has paid people off via company accounts. Maybe but he didn't know, do it though. You know, maybe he just paid them off to just get rid of it. But they didn't suck him off first. Just get rid of it, you know? Yeah. Okay. But now they've been bought by Endeavor. They're back to being a private company. We don't have to release that information anymore, brother. Yeah. Have you seen the contract he's got as well? He's there until he dies. Yeah. I think, what was the last death? Death or... Brother, fuck me, Hogan. Yeah. I mean, I'm not particularly surprised because I feel like that's how he wants it anyway. I, that's kind of the word. He was like, oh, death or impetuity, something weird. Like, I, you are going to have to... He, until he can't go anymore. Until he doesn't have to pry, have to, pry he, me out of that gorilla spot in gorilla, brother. They're going to have to pry that spot out of his cold, dead hands. Um, so he ain't giving trip shit. Why is Sable here, by the way? I don't understand. Because she's, she's the baddie. Mr. McMahon. Yeah, she's the that's... baddie. <laughs> you need some eye candy, because Steph, I mean, look, look what Steph's wearing. I don't get any of this. Vince in the Adidas tracksuit bottoms. <laughs> yeah, this, this episode is... This is honestly probably like one of my favorite shows that we've ever done, and we're not even done yet. It's just good mental. job, good job, John. Good job. Put it here, but put it, put it here, brother. Oh my God, Mister McMahon, look at how red he. It's like red brown that he is. That mahogany. And can I just can I just say as <laughs> well? This show's been good so far, but don't forget we've still got the Basham brothers in tag team action, so it's gonna Ooh. get better. Yeah. That's going to be the bathroom break, brother. Whoa. Ten points to the first person who can name both of the Basham brothers. Danny and Doug. Wow, there, he, there she is. Straight in. And uh, he's actually Ten got points Dam to Gryffindor. He was actually called Damager. He's, Damager. he's the OVW heavyweight champion when he was called up around this time. Big. There's no extra credit, okay? So Cornet loves Damager. And that's that's the famous like Cornette line where they they called him up for for SmackDown and like one of them had like long whatever long hair and they went now we want to shave your head so they do SmackDown and he turned up in OVW the week after he goes what the fuck what happened oh they said I've got to shave my head so he rings up John Laurinaitis if you're gonna do that before if you're gonna do that in the next time look give me three weeks notice I'll do a hair match I'll draw some money and I'll actually right, understand right. this business thank you fuck you bye. Bang. Yeah, 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 that's true. They could have did something with it. Give me three weeks' notice. I'll book a hair match. I'll draw some money. You fucking piece of shit. No, he's not. I mean, he's not wrong. He's John Connors... Laurinaitis is a piece of shit. That's Connors... Connors never wrong. Well, he's wrong very often. Very, it, that... very often. Not very often. I feel like CM Punk is very rarely wrong. Oh, my God. What is happening? What did you say? June I mean, 17th. Like his, June 17th. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cornet's right. uh, views that, um, you know, all Japanese women are just like little schoolgirls in short skirts. I can't, I can't buy that into that. Thank you, John. Yeah. All right. Okay. He views analyzing historical wrestling. Tread softly, Milner. Tread softly. He That's used why to I, be, I, I listened to the drive-through and not the experience. He used to be a great wrestling mind. And now he clings on to relevance with 
tired catchphrases that he repeats over and over and bad faith takes to Lazy booking. A, a certain uh, subset of wrestling fans. <laughs> Did you guys Might just be. see that? What, so how, how, how young does Mike Kyoto look here, by the way? A baby. Um, I mean, this is 20 years ago. I can't yeah. get over Steph's hair. Like, what the fuck? It just, that... it just looks so bad. I'm sorry. The, you guys know. The semi I love Steph. We all love this, Steph. This isn't Steph. I don't know who she is. This, this is, is not Steph. She's 28. She's a vice principal somewhere. And she's showing, like, <laughs> God damn it. I can do this shit. I mean business. But I still got a little bit of life in me. You bring me a Friday night, it's tequila night. I'm going to show you a good time. Oh Vince, my God. Vince, Vince wants his cake and eat it here. Dear Lord. So cringe. This is just so mental. Like, this was so... Again, I have, I have never... Look at Sable. Look at Sable. Look at Sable. She, she, she's queuing it up, guys. She hugged the, hugged the girls up, yeah. I have never watched this show before in my life. Oh, you've never seen it. Get ready. She's getting the titties out. She's trying to distract Mr. America. He keeps looking back. <laughs> oh. What anybody would do. Yeah. A pair of 40 year olds fake tits. I mean, we'd no, all be shut up. I, I'd, I'd give up anything to just look at those for one second, wouldn't you? Oh my God. Don't like fake boobs. Just me. Mm. Not for me. This show, this episode is gold. Why did he just call him Hogan? He's Adam oh. and he's Mr. Hulk, Hulk Hogan is Mr. America. It's not improved yet. No, oh, you already said Hulk Hogan's staying at home. This is Mr. America. So if you hit me, Zach Gowdy's then going to get a shot for the World Championship. What? No, I, no, no, a contract. A contract, like a shot at this business. I think at the next pay per view, it was Vince McMahon versus Zach Gowan, and, and Vince beat the shit out of him for 10 minutes. Standard. Got to get heat, brother. What the hell was Zach he Gowan. Like, What mentality was he going through at the time? Midlife well, to crisis. Up You've got to remember, this is the year when Vince faced Steph in an I quit match at some pay-per-view as well. Oh my god, that was so cringe too. Steph. Hi. Uh, it's very cute. Yeah, he's a sweet, sweet guy. Vince definitely got sucked off by her in 98.99. Wow, definitely or allegedly? Allegedly, definitely. <laughs> For sure. For sure, brother. The fact that they set up a big lawsuit out to call one. Like, you know what's, what's all these things I've come up with Vince afterwards, right? It's, it's, such, an, it's such an American thing, isn't it? These people who were in such positions of power just Wrote it for all. Thing. I no, wanna take that. I want. I want to say true. it's it's a billionaire thing. It's a man and... in it's men in a very male dominated environment thing. Yeah, but like he's also like he's the boss. He's a fucking billionaire. Like who who can't he touch? <laughs> like in his mind, he thinks he's God. Just like d- a that's Chappelle. why he's walking around there. Dave Chappelle's one of my favorite, probably my favorite stand-up of all time, right? He's so funny. I love and he, him. And he, and he says, like, the thing about uh, Bill Clinton and Monica, right? Because imagine being that powerful where you suck my dick and you're going to be famous from the back of that. Imagine that. Come on. Come on, suck this as a career new for you. Like, this is next level shit. 
The thing is, for somebody like a Monica Lewinsky, though, on, obviously, like to her detriment, like it ruined. I mean, of course, it made her very famous, but it also ruined her life because yeah. that was a. If all it was she, today, all, all you ever known for, yeah, yeah. If it was today, it might be a little bit different because, like, it would wash quicker. Like, things yeah, so things, fast. Yeah, yeah. Things things are a bit more progressive now, and there's also like a lot more women speaking out in terms of like, you know, that pressure that you feel from like yeah. your boss or something like that. But I mean, back then, God, look at the color of Vince's chest. You're right. That's, that's that ridiculous. scary. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, he, it... he kicked his bad leg out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did not, I did not expect that. This is not I've, I've never seen this before. <laughs> Unbelievable. He kicked his bad leg out. He, he oh. didn't care. And he didn't give one fuck. Happy to do it. He'll do zero, it again. Zero fucks given. I mean, Vince took every regional territory out of business. He didn't give a shit about a guy on, on one leg. Did you hear the story about this, by by the way, about John Laurinaitis hiring the uh, wrong one-legged wrestler? No. Get out of my ring. Bruce Pritchard, oh. before he got hired by the, again, by the WWE, oh yeah, but we, we've got him, Vince, and he's 30, and he's about six foot, he's really athletic, and yeah, he's, he's really good for, you know, a guy who's bald. Yeah, I know. I'm just as surprised, but you know, he uh, he's really good. And the, no, the guy we want, he's 21. He's really young and athletic. He's got a full head of hair. No, 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 not the one we got. And Bridgeford goes, "My God, you signed the what the wrong one like a wrestler, you fucking moron." Oh, well, can we use them as well? I mean, they could be part of a stable. What type you of stable? <laughs> You could call them the unstable. So, <laughs> so they they hired the wrong one legged wrestler who got paid a hundred grand to do nothing for a year in two thousand three. I love that. What a story! Oh my god! Yeah, Vince, we got him. He's really good. You know, he works in Ohio. Uh, You're like, who the hell is this guy? He's thirty. Ball, he's bald guy, but you know, he looks really good. He's in shape. No, we need ball. This guy's twenty one. Oh, no, 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 he's not. He's 30. Oh, my God. I love that. It's a matter of rough time. Look at this in Vince. Honestly, though, like, this is... We we love a good, like, underdog story. I mean, there's from a wrestling standpoint, come on. Vince was actually mental at this time, man. Actually mental. Look what he's doing. That's what I mean. What the fuck is he doing? How's he busted open? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Funny. But it's top of the, you know, that was top of the hour. Anyway, so. You've been to those fountains, Lissy? <laughs> no. No. No, this is Orlando. I haven't gotten up there much. JJ, how's the detox going? Uh, mixed. <laughs> so you start with a glass of wine, you move to Coke. What happened? I had a glass of wine. I had a glass of wine. Are you trying to be everything in moderation? Yeah, exactly. It's probably the best. I hit the gym today. I ate well. Really? Had a glass of wine. What? What did you do in the gym? Just lifted some weights. Did some squats. Women like it when you're so vascular, Brian. Good line. Good line. I used to love so, Family Guy. I haven't watched it in years. It's an inside joke. Me and Lorraine use it all the time. It's such a good show. I'm. The thing is, certain shows just like they pass their prime because like they've already done all the funny stuff that they can do, and like that's just yeah. that's that's what it is. it's so weird. That Big Show was just like so obviously right in the same Andre singlet. Yes. Big Show. This is weird. Like Big Show is just like the monster hero. Like we saw him earlier. Slamming uh, Rey Mysterio into the into the corner post in that opening promo. We see him taking the piss out of Zach Gowan. All right, careful, careful, careful. 
I saw a I saw something on Twitter where it was some kid that posted on a wrestling forum maybe or Reddit or something. He was like, oh, I came across some like old Chris Benoit videos and my dad told me not to watch it. I don't understand why people don't like him. Like he was a killer in the ring. So I'm um, like <laughs> The thing is, it's really annoying for me my, because my, my dad won't. My dad won't tell me why 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 I'm not allowed to watch him. He's like, oh, I... anyone... between two. Um, so I got into WCW like ninety nine, two thousand. Then when I was hands down my favorite, mm. and I remember coming home from when the, when the stuff happened two thousand. I think it was two thousand seven, two thousand eight. That was when I was playing poker a lot, and I came home at like. Three, four in the morning, tune in to watch Raw, and it's a tribute to Chris Benoit. And then I have no idea who Shaniqua is, never heard of her. You don't know who Shaniqua is? Do either of you guys remember her? Vaguely, but she was just kind of like, I mean, look at her. <laughs> the weirdest She's thing about this is woman. the Fashion Brothers, right? They were, so again, so one of them had their hair shaved two weeks earlier. They were feuding for the o- OVW heavyweight title mm. at the time. They were like biggest rivals, and they just stuck them in a tag team. Like, the biggest fuck you to Cornet. And did YouTube. nothing with them, by the and way. Did, did nothing, nothing with them. them. Nothing, yeah. absolutely nothing. Just gave, them a, just gave them a generic look, right? You wear your black trousers, you've got bald head. There's nothing interesting about you. Just go out, job out, and... Uh, See you later. Yeah, Benoit's going to pin one of these two. But yeah, I, I came back from playing poker and I remember crying at this like raw tribute to Benoit thinking, oh my God, he's, he's like my favourite, one of my favourite wrestlers of all time. Top five. This is before, by the way, this is before anything came out, right? Yeah, this was like, yeah. this was, it was. All we, all we knew was he had died. So, and there so was Jack, a tribute show. It was so a John, family tragedy, apparently. Yeah. It was a, it was the same. I think it was the same day that they were filming. If I re- if you recall, right? Like they found them dead. They found all of them dead in the house. They thought that there was that they were murdered or whatever. So they're yeah. like, okay. I mean, and you can't really fault them. They didn't jump the gun because you're not thinking that like that type of thing happened, right? So and they obviously put on- you have to. You can't just put on a normal show like one of your top stars has just died. You know what I mean? So right, right. So I mean. It's, it, it wasn't their fault. And then I think I think it was also just, like, feeling... You probably feel very foolish for, like, paying such tribute to him. And then, like, a few days... I think it was, like, the day or or the next day after they found out that, you know, it wasn't a, a homicide. It was, a, you know... what is the, What do they call it? Homicide? Double suicide. murder, suicide. Yeah, double murder, double murder, suicide. Yeah. I mean... I think that was like a, you know how Vince has a big ego, right? Like that's like a very big blow to his ego. Like we're over here crying on camera for you. And then you're a fucking murderer. Like that's probably how he felt. And then that drew that. I think that really drove the whole, like erasing every memory of him from WWE period. And around that time, right? So they had a very strong locker room from the SmackDown side. So Benoit moved over. Uh, Benoit was on SmackDown what or two or three or four. He won the Rumble, moved over to Raw in or four when he won the belt. He beat Triple H at WrestleMania twenty. Moved back to SmackDown again in or five, and he's there till whenever till he passed. Like, I think I think it was two thousand and eight. But that time they had like Taker, Finlay, Benoit, Ed. Bradshaw, Edge. They they had a guys who'd been there a lot. Yeah. Eddie was there for a while, right? Batista. People who had been uh, seen to have paid their dues. That's why the Miz, right? It was it was the Miz eating chicken, and Ben White goes, "You've got that on my bags." No, 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 that that's not my stuff. You have get out, get out of the locker room. They um, they were tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were really tough on the on the the young boys coming through. Yeah, but they were. The thing is, you have to remember, like. They came up in a different locker room setting too, because like they, what's going on? You okay? I thought he was going to Oh, like they broke into the business in like the eighties. Who's they? Pronouns, pal. The 
the older guys that were the locker room leaders at the time. Benoit, yeah. Finlay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like they broke into the business at a a time when like that type of stuff, like you really needed to earn your respect, oh, right? There you go. Oh my God, Benoit <laughs> pinned by one of the damages, one of the bash one of the damages. After everything we just said, they just got there to jump out. They get a pin over Benoit. Okay, fair enough. Okay. What a win! Rhino hit Benoit, so yeah. Get off me, you dick. I'll whip... I'll, you know I will. I think Rhino's Canadian as well, right? No, he's from Detroit. Oh. Anyway, Close enough. do we know anything about Shaniqua? Who uh, her, no. man? <laughs> I don't think she was around that long. I know that this is what they would do with Jade Cargill if they had to. Absolutely. At that time, yes. You're right. Um, I mean, she will end up in WWE, won't she? If she's got any sense. Okay, so she came through Tough Enough. In 2002, she entered and won the second series of Tough Enough. C and co-winner Jackie Gator were awarded developmental contracts with WWE. Um, Why is the camera back here? Yeah. Jeez. Oh. Oh, shit. Word life. Yeah. Yeah. This, that, I mean, that, that was kind of the the total of her of her wrestling career. It's she was so with the Basham. She was with the Basham for about looks like about a year and then that was it. Had a yeah, few was... uh independent matches and that and that was that. Well then. Yo yo yo. This yo, rap yo, yo, angle yo, yo. was so he was good but like some of his stuff was really good but some was just so cringe. Is this what they claimed is? Yeah, but not as good. Michael Cole gay. Yeah, basically. Oh. Yeah, there's another one. Indeed. I love Funaki. Also, he looks the exact same today. My man made a living just being a job for five years. Fair play to him. And he was, and he was the backstage interviewer. Come on. He was a Japanese commentator as well. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Chant dick with me. Yeah. <laughs> Just after I've made about three jokes about commentators being gay. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Banger, to be fair. He's got smacked down on his trunks. Wow. You ugly. Yeah, yeah, you ugly. <laughs> my sister used to have this film on VHS. Oh, my God, what was it called? I don't know. What Clueless. Was it? It, no, no, it was Daphne and Celeste. Daphne oh, right, and Celeste. Okay. Yeah, 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 they yeah, yeah. released a single. Uh, the, you said uh, film. Called, yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, I, I know Dickhead. Song, right? Yeah, U-G-L-Y. Yeah, 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 all right, I corrected myself. Calm down. U G L Y, you ain't got no alibi. You ugly, Daphne and Celeste. Look it yeah. up. Yeah, that's right. Funaki, Funaki yeah, is not that a big fan Calm of down. Daphne and Celeste. I can be. Yeah. 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 You must see Jimmy Carter there. Oh, we got we got the unders on this one then. Good match, good match. Basic Here so be- dynamic. Oh. This is disgusted with that result. She's gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. He's um, seen it. He's ripped. Yeah. He always yeah, was, man. Yeah, but yeah, he still gets bigger. I mean, physically, aesthetically. And he never juiced. Apparently. Do you believe him? Yeah. Okay. I don't. 
He's just got that work ethic. I mean, everyone always speaks so highly, don't they, of his uh, his grafting. Yeah. And he's one of the few that have like come out and explicitly stated, I never did. I think others just avoid the issue. What? Uh, steroids. Who Cena said he never did steroids? Yeah. Oh, okay. The JVC Tower of Power. Oh. Whoa, Jamie. It's got MP3 playback. I know. You got way. What the hell? Oh my god, what a time. Remember, like your room was your setup was not complete if you didn't have a stereo. Correct. Oh my god. You used to find a way to download MP3s onto one of those like USB. Yes. And, and yes. then stick it into the PC. That was a uh, this is next level shit, right? That was that was like Thank you, you were living in, in 2030 back Thank then. Thank you, And now I've got like, <coughs> Baby Shark played on Spotify onto a <laughs> speaker in the room. Wait, but do you remember MP3 players? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, we used to have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we you could have like so 18 cool. songs max. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta pick carefully. Bangers only. <laughs> oh, killer, no filler. That was, uh, the iPod Shuffle that was where, the Indian like, Farms album, right? No, no Sum that, 41, Sum that was 41. Sum 41. Don't play. It's my favorite band. All right, I'm not, okay, I, I had them all. There's a dodgy guy who used to do like um, copies in the bookies, um, that, which one we used to run. Like four sheets of paper. Pick what you want. Yeah. Three pounds each. Easy. I'll do it for you. What a guy. Shout out to Eka. He's about 25 stone. Great lad. He's called me Jacob Marley, the ghost of Christmas past. Marley. <laughs> I love this era of Kurt Angle, by the way. Oh, yeah. Wrestling machine. It's true. It's true. It's damn true. Damn true. I think this is just after the Team Angle little click. Um, I think we'll see them. Okay. I think I think we'll see them. What? It's so nice to see people. Oh, it, mm, bittersweet. So it's nice to see people that are twenty years on still involved in the still alive, still alive, still alive, still alive, still alive. Because there's a lot of people that are not still alive that were yeah. probably on this episode. Mm-hmm. Um. Like some people, sh- some people shouldn't be um, wrestling still. Not shouldn't oh. be alive. It's not your face. That's that all. He's talking like Vince like, and Hulk. I mean, what? yeah, but like there's a lot of people on this episode that we've seen so far that are still wrestling. Right? You have Matt Hardy. Yeah. You have um, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio yeah. We've seen um, Billy Gunn. Billy John Gunn. Cena. John Cena. Yeah. John John Cena. In the Brock Lesnar will be on this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, here they are, Jack. Shelton Benjamin. I love them. Charlie Haas. The greatest um, tag team. Charlie Haas messaged us last year on... Um, last of, year? Yeah, one of our pages asking to plug something. I can't remember what he wanted. And have you responded yet? No, I said absolutely not. <laughs> How dare you he, say no to Charlie Haas? He, but he wanted something to plug for his like his own benefit. Like, I mean, I think that's that he, what most people want something plugged for is for their he, benefit. He, in he his give, defense, well, yeah, but give me a payday, brother. You know how this works. By the way, beautiful tracksuit for Team America. Oh, oh, he leaves tracksuit. Velvet. Look at these velvet bad boys. I like I the fact it. that Kurt has a different, the different two tone, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he's because he's elevated. He's the man. Yeah. He, yeah. Those are his kids. But when you work at Foot Locker and you have to wear the stripes, but your boss doesn't. (laughs) I've never worked at Foot Locker, but I imagine that's the situation. Oh, John, we've lost Jack. Oh, no, he's not frozen. Okay. (laughs) Were you listening for the boy? Yeah, pretty much. Is he all right? I couldn't hear. (laughs) On mute. Oh. He's all right. He, he has bad nightmares. He just wakes up and he starts like... Does he soothe himself back to sleep? Yeah, pretty much. 
That's good. Hey, why was Seb up so late, JJ? Don't know. By Parrington. Yeah. Will you stop? So. He has FOMO. No, I feel like some kids just like they. Everybody's up and they're like, like Mila has that a lot. Like she just she's if there's if there's like people over, she refuses to go to sleep because she doesn't want to miss anything. Yeah. So, no, he slept. He slept in this morning and just just wasn't tired. Like you, sometimes you get to bedtime and you try and, and they're just like wide awake. So. So George, he stayed up a bit. In the morning, it's right? not gonna work for me, brother. <laughs> you got me, brother. I'm gonna have to stay here for another twenty minutes. <laughs> so George, in the morning, he won't get out of bed for like fifteen, twenty minutes. He's lays there. He's got his cuddly toys that he's had there. Unless he, he's got his favorite book, which is called "I Might Be Little." And I sit on the chair with there's like a little arm, really nice armchair in, in his bedroom, and I start reading it to myself. And he jumps up and starts hands on the bars going, <laughs> he, want, he wants me, if he sees me reading that book without him, he goes bananas. Like he jumps so that's the wake up, up call. That's, the, that's now the wake up call. Like, oh, I might be a little bit tinier than me. It's a little fuzzy. Turn around B. But it works, right? It's a way to get him off. As the soon as I there. as soon as I walk in it's Penny's cruel. room, she just pops up and is like at the bars, arms up, ready to be picked up, like always in a happy mood. Beforehand, it was just That's a, a dream. Couldn't get him out of bed at all, and then start reading the book, and now he goes mental. Yeah. So I feel like I've worn at life doing that. <laughs> oh. Charlie half dropping bombs. Yeah. <gasps> Called him a loser. Is this a Kurt, Kurt Angle face turn? I hope so. I'm tired of these people. Boo. Let me tell you something, bro. He told Charlie. Cut angle face turn. Confirmed. There we go. I feel like Jim White should be here. Let's see. Do you know who Jim White is? No. No. Okay. JJ, you got it, didn't you? No. Fuck off. You, why are you, why you going to air a man out on a camera? I was I was watching Cut. I didn't even Yeah, that's right. I kissed my teeth at him. Let's see. What, what, did, what did you say? I actually completely missed it. I just copied Lissy. Why have you got to air a man out on camera? No, before that, what, did, what was the actual question you asked? I can't remember. Do you know. Something like that, that's exactly what Jim White would say. Oh, yeah. Yep. Do you know Jim White is? It. No, I don't. Oh. The referee. Oh. <laughs> I'm thinking of someone else. You're talking about the Sky Sports News fella. Yes. Right. Oh. I can't stand, I can't stand the guy. But anyway. I love that Kurt is wearing like the dad sneaker special too. Like he looks like a a gym teacher. Peep the peep the kicks. Peep them. So it's a PE teacher for anyone across the pond watching. Oh sorry, yeah. We call it P they, we call it P too, but P Gym. Gymnasium. We'll we'll know what it is. Enough people in the UK or Europe have watched enough high school teenage, you know, TV shows to know right. the, exactly. the different, the different been... words that are used. Yes, but we might get a clip out of it this way. Genius. Thank you. Relax. You're always trying to set me up. I'm trying to get a my... social media clip. Like, good You're trying God. trying to set me up for, for a rant. It's not happening today, okay? You haven't... I'm, I'm, I'm too tired. It's a you didn't do... You know what it is? You didn't do the pre-work on the pre-show that no one sees to get L- me... Listen, listen you appreciate the grafting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to get me wound, properly wound up to give, like, some material, and then it'll oh, really? come out on the show. My God, there's so many things I could say to that, and I, I will. Easy. This is this is so Vince, by the way. He loves this chant. 
Don't like get it. Bruce Richard said, "If you not if you not noticed, they will try and get this in at every oh, every yeah, opportunity." Yeah, I know. It's an all timer theme tune, by the way. It really is. And then the perfectly timed "You suck." Are you kidding me? You, you suck. suck. You, you suck. suck. You suck. Phenomenal. It's funny because even when people loved him, they still sang it almost out of. Uh... Look at the music. It's like a like a not of appreciation, it. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Amazing that Lesnar is only only two ninety five. I mean, build at two ninety five. Feel like he should be more. Mm-hmm. Probably. Also, so probably not five hundred. Youngest WCW champion. True. I think they're going to Oh, they jumped him. Called it. Love to see it. Good kick. Good kick. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Can't believe it. Take your velvet gear and shove it, Kurt. Valor. 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 Um, if if you don't know what happens at the end of this big show versus Brock Lesnar World Title match, you should you should what pull up the pull up the show. What's Tass wearing? Uh, it's like a cream jacket and a blue shirt. We've already talked about the fact that the 2000s were the worst time in fashion. That's true. Men, women, everybody. Remember the baggy pants? Oh, my God. It's all bad. Big shirts. What did Peter Almeida wear in the 2000s? The same thing that he wore in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and that and he's the tw- wearing and today. the 2020s. <laughs> Absolutely. Peter is happiest in a flannel shirt with straight leg denim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Straight leg, light denim, not dark. He will he will not wear a dark jean ever. Right. And right. He will, he'll only wear plain white tennis shoes. Not even sneakers, tennis shoes. <laughs> He what, never about changed. His, uh, never changed. what about Music for a formal real, event? What did he wear to the wedding? To what? Your first wedding. wedding. No, oh, no, Peter. I meant the wedding last week. Oh, oh right. no, 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 Peter will dress up. Peter will wear a suit. Absolutely. No, I'm talking on the day to day, the casual stuff. Yeah, he yeah, will yeah. wear the, he, and he doesn't care. He'll wear the same, he'll, he has like a rotation of maybe two or three outfits that he wears in the week. How, He's very, he, how ripped is Brock Lesnar? My God. He's a young man. He's shredded. He's like 23, 24. He's 25, brother. Oh my god. But look at <laughs> look at his really, look at the neck really, muscles. He really yeah. doesn't look that different 20 years on, does he? Like I'm not really. You like, can see like, he's aged a little bit, right? He's yeah, got a baby face, face head. But apart yeah, from that, like And he doesn't even look old. His face has just matured a little bit. Right. right. Straight on him. Mental. We got ten minutes of the main event. I'm excited. JJ, no spoilers. No, I mean anyone can. Anyone who's watching it can see how long left. So I have an announcement that I would like to share with you guys, and Ooh, I'm sorry that this doesn't matter for when this is published. But wow. Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be at Night of Champions tomorrow. Oh, on Saturday. Sorry. And he's going to be presenting the new World Heavyweight Championship belt. Wow. I thought the new, um, I thought the announcement would involve you or like your personal life. That's disappointing. No, no. Why would I talk about that here? I Let's not forget that Cristiano Ronaldo also paid someone off to accuse him of uh, sexual misconduct. Oh my God. Here rip. Go. Rip. You can say the word rip. Right. Listen, I'm sorry. It, 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 I, this is a this is a very rare occurrence. There's he doesn't need to assault anybody. Look at the man. I don't know. That was that. Lacey. That, 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 that
No, that didn't. It didn't resonate with me. That one. I don't know. They say it. That's that from you. That's bad. And exactly. So if it's from me, then you know that I don't believe it. Like that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. Can't. I just said he was accused. I mean, I can't. I just I I can't believe this it. is from fifteen. 15, 20 years ago, to be fair. Do you yeah, do you think ago. that there's a um and I, I'm not attributing this to Ronaldo or anything, but do you think that there is a um sense of if someone is very famous, very good looking, that they mm-hmm. almost feel like if they come on to you, you should just automatically say yes. And when someone doesn't say yes, they get offended. Refresh my mind. What what were the circumstances of of her alleged assault? I don't know. Okay. Didn't spend believe, a lot of time looking at it. Believe, believe women. I believe women. I am a woman. I believe women. But like, I'm not blaming. I'm not blaming this particular woman. I really don't even know the the parameters around it. I don't even remember because of how long it's been. But <laughs> I just there's certain times when I'm just like I have I have a hard time. I'm I'm shocked by this. It's okay. You can be shocked. Well, I can you. shock people. Yeah, I, I know you people. massively. Yeah, I'm like, wow. I can shock people. I mean, like, I don't think that, I don't, I'm just saying, I have a hard time believing it. That's it. I don't have to, I don't have to say all the politically correct stuff all the time. It's okay. I have opinions. Me too. Who would you side with, JJ? Sorry? Who would you side with? In what? The girl who accused Ronaldo of sexual assault. I, I wasn't there. <laughs> I haven't read the story. I really haven't formed an opinion. Um, I, I, I don't think it's my place to form an opinion. I, 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 I agree with you, Jack. Believe women. That's, that's kind of the end of it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I go bother sometimes. Jesus. It wasn't... <laughs> And I, I, I haven't read like I haven't read up on it. It's, it's you, not something that personally interests me, so and I want to spend my time funny. on. <laughs> I don't side with anyone. It's a shitty situation. You don't ever side with me ever. <laughs> that was great. I, could ah, tell I you agree that with the, you. The, the, uh, woman. It could be like me, you, and AJ Styles on a podcast. I'd say, oh AJ, the Earth isn't flat. Well, come on, Jeff. No, we, don't we don't know that. We don't know that for sure. Like, oh my god, why is he being a cunt? Oh my god, I hate you so bad. Why? I don't know why. I wasn't there. I was. I wasn't even there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh is my god. Is she him? Why? Oh. Why? Oh why? God. I'm a bother. Oh my god. Dickhead. Oh, um, he's just trying for that F5. He just can't pull it off. Just can't get it. Why have you chosen this? What, what I get so much heat for picking shit episodes this of is, TV. This, is, this has been a fun show. This has been a very fun show. I, oh. I picked it because the ending was iconic and you can go on June 12th, 2023, you can go 20 years ago today this iconic thing happened. What's th- our review of the whole show? I think you'll find you picked an even worse show, first of all. I did, yeah. yeah. Much worse. And so I... And I'm trying to... You, the consummate professional, got me back in line. Thank you. Thank you. It's soon to track it, isn't it? What? <laughs> he just wants to so badly. There's nothing else for him to do. Not with CCW. Why? Wow. No. It's a bit of a commute. Good referees. Shout out to uh, Amy Veronica. Amy! Dusty, Ro- Dusty Rose is the number one fan. I love Amy so much. She's, she's, part part of... Of... she's part of the good click, right? She's part of my my inner circle. Who's who, who isn't part of the inner circle? Mia. Fuck that bitch. Um. <laughs> let's see. No, never heard from her again. Love. I love to see that. Is she, is she, is she, is she gone? 
honestly, wrestling is so peaceful right now, and I'm really happy for that. I see drinks, I see. You have been posting a lot of like uh, philosophical stories recently. Which which philosophical stories? Hmm? What philosophical stories? Just you like I, I'm. I'm happy to be peaceful and blah blah blah. I am. I really am. I'm in a very peaceful place in my life. I'm. I'm. I'm very happy to report that. Let's keep it there. No drama. I don't, think, I don't think there's going to be any more to this match, you know? I think they're just going to end I it there. Can, I think we can end there, brothers. Right. So, Jack. Yes. June 12th, 2003. Smackdown. What are your thoughts? What a fucking waste of time that was. Oh, wow. my God. Why don't you watch some Ring of Honor from 2003? Oh. Well. Right, so around this time, it was... Anyone that was in Ring of Honor 2003, we can just watch them now on AEW, can't we? Can I? Can I? Brian, uh, Joe, uh, uh, CM Punk. That part, that part. Can I just pause for one second, though? And I, I'll say this in John's defense, because like I actually really enjoyed watching this. I feel like when we usually watch an episode, we do not watch the wrestling. We do not even yeah. watch the programming. Sure. Um, we watched this entire episode in its entirety. And we talked about it. We actually commented. We haven't talked about anything else except for what we were watching for the most part. So to, I think this was a success. And to be you, fair, you the way... You CM Punk, so... You know. well, but the thing is, the way that we you know, edit these and get these uploaded, a lot of the time, if we're talking about current stuff, by the time Vinny, we actually get it up... about you, brother? No, Vinny. In general, like, that that one too, Vinny. That even, if it, even if it was a one-week turnaround, it's still old news by the time it goes out. You know, it's If we true. talk about what happened dynamite last night in a week there's already been a pay-per-view and another dynamite so you, you, you could be mean? saying seb is sleeping like a baby two weeks later it's 10 o'clock he's still not asleep exactly. yeah. <laughs> time moves fast time waits to no man um it was a weird show the, oh, yeah. the, the undertaker feuding with the fbi is just weird to me it's just so weird John Cena. <laughs> John Cena and Vinaki, like, what the fuck is going on? Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be in a, in a hurry to watch. But you were, you were right with your assertion about the um, iconic ending. So, yeah. And you know what? Yeah. That opening match was a banger, to be fair. So. It, it was in the opener. Right. Rey Mysterio and Matt Hardy. Oh, ah, right, yeah. Oh, all right. There we go. Thank okay. You. Jack, would you like to see more of the Raw and SmackDown episodes from the Ruthless Aggression era? No, I would not. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Thanks. Because at the end of the day, it is your show, darling. <laughs> Why you guys let us know what you want to see down in the comments below? Like, JJ, nobody's comment. watching. JJ, we had nine views in the last video. Six of them were me. I've got 12 accounts. Like, let's be honest. Nobody's you know how, watching. You know how you get more people watching is by encouraging people to like, subscribe, and comment. There you go. I'll do it, and I'll clip it up, and I'll share it. <laughs> let's see how it goes. Also, you know, Jack will have his Facebook back, account back soon, and he can start sharing these on Facebook. And, He'll be uh, on there. His, yeah, his many, it's, many it's like, followers. It's not like Lissy and John both have access to these accounts and so I don't use Facebook and I don't plan to start. So I don't really me. know. I don't really. Alexandra, know you have you are an admin. I don't. I, I've never really done like social media marketing or anything like that. It's it's not really my thing. <laughs> John Jacobs, former social media manager, Bet Victor, really. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I've been. <laughs> He did do badly, very badly. But he's done well. He did, he's done well for himself. It's fine. He tried being Jack Milner for a year. How'd that work out? Well, COVID hit, and you know he's doing amazing. Yeah. Big shoes to fill. It's not. I'm a size eight and a half. Yeah. On a good day. Size Go. eleven, baby. Come at me. Yeah, otherwise, Nicole wouldn't be with you. Come on. <laughs> You've heard the rumours. <laughs> I've been Jack Milner. She's been Lucy Almeida, and he has been John Jacobs. 
the last episode in Miami. Last episode in Miami and lo- <laughs> Red. Don't, don't, say- don't, don't, don't say where I'm living or moving to. Don't you're getting crazy now. Because people her her government you. name, oh. giving her a dress. Yeah. Thing. It almost looks like you're wearing a wedding ring as well. No, it's this. It's on this finger. Oh. This one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, Jack loves to do this too. <laughs> Who are you, Winston Churchill? <laughs> you're so old. My name is Nigel McGuinness. I'm winning to win it. It's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from them. Bye. Good night. Thank you.